Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to cover the globular cluster M53 in the constellation Coma Berenices. And I will quickly show you the telescope and the eyepiece. Then I'm going to run you through the location of it in the sky. And then I'm going to show you the process of sketching and then the final uh, sketch in the end. So stay tuned for that. There's the telescope all set up, pointing at M53 in Coma Berenices, up there somewhere. Oh, it's hard to tell, I can't see the screen. Um, I have the Vixen 8 to 24 millimeter zoom eyepiece in, and I have it set at, oh, I have it set at 24 millimeters, right there. So let's get to it. M53 can be found in the constellation Coma Berenices near the star Diadem. This globular cluster has an apparent magnitude of 7.7, .7, while Diadem is quite a bit brighter at 4.3. M53 lies 58,000 light years from Earth. Globular clusters are older and larger than open clusters, and while this globular cluster does contain old stars, it also appears to have a more than average number of younger blue stars. The blue straggler stars are a bit of a mystery as to how they got there. They expect that it is from old stars colliding in the dense core of the globular cluster and forming new stars from the gas and dust. Now let's get on with the sketch. I started off the sketch by spending a bit of time looking through the eyepiece, checking out the view of the cluster, and getting an idea of the placement of stars that weren't part of M53. I noticed that there weren't too many stray stars from the globular cluster, and all of them were relatively compact in the cluster. As usual, I started off by marking off all the stars in the field of view with an HB pencil. I then used my blending stump to create the glowing haze given off by the brightness of the dense core with a 4B pencil. After that, I used the stippling technique to place the stars in the cluster, I did a bit of double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything and marked where north and west was, and that's another successful sketch. So this is the final drawing after bringing it into GIMP, inverting, adjusting the color a bit, and adding the information around the image. I was quite happy with this final sketch, and think the final results came out better than my M3 sketch a few weeks ago did. As I said at the beginning of this video, I did this with my 8-inch Celestron SCT and my Vixen 8-24mm zoom eyepiece at 24mm, which got me a magnification of about 85x. Anyway, that's it for this sketch. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to see future videos. And if you want to be notified when I post another one, be sure to click the bell notification. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.